appointments to President-elect Donald Trump's cabinet being called a knife fight and buffoonery, according to sources within his transition team, with potential picks for West Wing and key national security posts drawing sharp internal disagreements. This week you'll hear some additional appointments. But today, inside Trump Tower, Trump and Vice President-elect Mike Pence are hunkering down, reviewing a list of contenders. The positions to possibly be nailed down as early as today include secretaries of state, education, commerce, and treasury. He's a nightmare, and he's the chief advisor to the president of the United States now. This is the appointment of Steve Bannon as Trump's chief strategist continues to draw sharp rebuke. Critics citing his close ties to the alt-right movement known for white nationalism and anti-Semitism. I work very closely with Steve Bannon. He's been the general of this uh, campaign. And frankly, people should look at the full resume. I'm personally offended that you think I would manage a campaign where that would be one of the going philosophies. It was not. And new concerns over conflict of interest are emerging, with Trump considering seeking top security clearance for his adult children and son-in-law, according to a transition team source. We'll be in New York and we'll take care of the business. No paperwork has been filed, but the children could have access to secure communications technology, travel schedules and secret service procedures. Meanwhile, Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin speaking by phone. The two men discussing the need for joint efforts in the fight against common enemy number one, international terrorism and extremism. All this as deep domestic divisions remain. Anti-Trump demonstrators protesting across the country for the sixth straight day. We the president.